Hello, I'm Miss Dutton. I'm going to be doing a video today about Class Dojo. You can get this in the Chrome Web Store. So what it is, it's a tool to help organize your classes. So I'm going to show you through looking at the demo class today. So when you open it, you just press demo class and it's going to come up with five students already. So say you have this open in your class, you can give positives and negatives out really easily and it will pop up on the screen with their icon so students really like that and it keeps a record of why they're getting negative so you can look at the end and see oh they're talking all the time or things like that so randomizer is also a really good tool so if you need to call on the students to do a presentation or to answer a question this is really good i'm very very guilty of asking the same question same kids to, uh, to answer every single time so this is cool I also like the timer. I am rubbish at saying to students, you've got two minutes to complete a task and then actually giving them five minutes. So this timer is useful for the kids so they know how long they've got left but also useful for managing myself. And there's also the countdown function as well. There's also a little register function. Obviously you're doing the register elsewhere in the school system but sometimes it's quite nice especially to flag up lateness because then you can show kids the graphs in and say you're, look, you've been late 80% of the time um, and then when you end your class you can have a look at some of the results it's going to show you how many positives and negatives your class have got and it's going to show the different reasons why so here talking out of turn um, I've given them more negatives of that, which sounds about right. Let's look at the graph to show you how many positives they've got. Um, and you can look at individual students, so you can see, you can show them, look, you know, in the last three weeks you've got a bunch of positives and they're all for the same thing, and you've got negatives and they're all about talking, so let's try and fix that. You can also give student logins, so they can log in at home. It's really, really easy to do, just click invitations. And the only thing that they can do is design their app the avatars which they really, really like um, there's nothing else that's going to change so they just design their avatars when they're next in class they can see their new icon popping up so they like that there's also where you can connect parents you just connect them by email but students can log in at home and show their parents how they're doing anyway so hopefully this has been a useful tool it'll be good with primary schools um, tutor groups and nurture groups um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you